Hello everyone. In an earlier video, we discussed your goals for 2019 and many of you indicated to me that some of those goals would be certification. In this video, I'm going to show you a tip on how to get started tracking your journey through a particular certification that you're trying to achieve. Professional IT certifications are going to consist of one or more exams, and every single one of these exams is going to have associated with it a list of exam topics that you need to master. What I like to do is use the list of exam topics to build a simple tracker for my progress. So if we look at a very popular example, the CCENT certification from Cisco Systems, if I go up to the official Cisco site for this and I take a look at this, I'm going to see somewhere in here there is the exam topics. So notice for this certification, there is one required exam. It's 100-105 ICND1. At least that's the required exam during the time of this recording. This exam might update and have a different number but I go to this required exam, click on it, and then I'm going to see a link that will tell me what the exam topics are. There they are. Every vendor will follow a similar approach when it comes to giving you the exam topics. Here are the exam topics. Look at this, just letter for letter what's on the exam. Now notice I've got to click each one of these show details links to see the entire thing. And then I'm what, I, what I'm going to do is a copy paste of this list. So now that I can see all of it, I'm going to click and drag in order to copy it. Let's see, it starts right there. Now that I've got it on the clipboard, I will launch something like Microsoft's OneNote in order to paste this in and build my tracker. So here I am in OneNote. I've started a little page for CCENT. I paste the information that we copied from the clipboard and then I can go in and of course and clean this up. But the main thing that I'm interested in doing is rating my proficiency at each of these tasks. So compare and contrast the OSI and TCP IP models. Let's say on a scale of one to five, I'm a total five with that. No problem at all. Then I come in and realize, okay, for this item right here, describe the impact of infrastructure components in an enterprise network. Maybe I feel like on this one, I'm about a three, kind of middle of the road, looking at these sub bullet points and these objectives. So you get the idea. A lot of students will use Excel in order to build their tracker. I don't care what product you use. I just want to make sure that you're going through and you're tracking your progress on the exam objectives to make sure you leave no stone unturned when it comes to coverage. In the next video, I'm going to give you a tip on very carefully reading exam objectives. Thanks so much for viewing and let me know what questions you have for me in the comments below.